my name is Chanel Compton, and I am the Director of Education for the Prince George's African American Museum. And for six months, we partnered with the Ark of Prince George's, an organization that works with adults with developmental and intellectual disabilities. We partnered with this organization to work with the members to produce a play entitled A Struggle for Dignity, a play about human rights. The actors worked very, very, very hard on this production. They did the backdrops, they did dancing, acting, and so, so much more. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you. I am the spirit of dignity. I'm in the hearts and minds of everyone everywhere who are struggling for dignity. I'm in their thoughts. I'm in their actions. I'm in their words. for the students. The artists are incredibly hardworking and um, they're very open and they, they share their experience with our students. And we have three murals going on in the building that weren't happening before, so there's definitely uh, an inspiration. Um, to prepare ourselves for the muralist arrival, um, we started uh, to learn a little bit of their language, the Portuguese language. We'd watched a documentary about what it was like for them over there. like. Just listening to their music now, it kind of sounds similar to the music we listen to here. Just the words are different. In a different language. It's like saying it in a different language. No! I didn't know they speak like a lot of languages. Like First I thought they spoke, spoke um, only Spanish there. But like I heard, they they uh, speak Portuguese, French, English, and uh, of course Spanish. Are you enjoying this process so far? Yeah, because like I learned, like I never used um, spray paint before, so this might be a good experience for me. 
and I really enjoy um, using it. This is significant, one, because it lets people know that art takes place here at Seward. We are the Center for the Visual Performing Arts for Prince George's County, so now we can see it on the outside as well as having people come in to see what we do. Plus also, I think what's really significant about the design is it speaks to what we attempt to do here, to have our students come in as ninth graders and to exit as graduates to go off to do really amazing things in their life. All right, so culture keepers, what is culture keepers? Culture keepers is an after school program with a focus on visual and performing arts. And we believe that through visual and performing arts, to learn about African American history, art, and culture, and be agents of change within our own community. As we've been standing out there um, painting and uh, making and making decisions about what goes on the wall, there were many decisions that were made that are very specific to all of our roots, their roots and your roots and my all of our roots, that have nothing to do with um, just things that are pretty, but everything to do with the people who came before us and what brings us together, what ties us together. It is really, really important that you open your mind, that you open your heart to accept and get to know people who are different than us, who are different than you, beyond the languages. So, hi everyone, I'm Guilherme. I work in Brazil with fashion design and also with digital art and it's, it's so good to be here doing this mural. It's, it's an amazing experience. That was one thing uh, I'll never forget. Hi, my name is Belinda Panini and I'm a culture keeper. Hi, my name is Brianna Rather and I'm a culture keeper. Hi, my name is Brenda. I am a culture keeper. Culture Keeper is an after school program brought to you by the Prince George's African American Museum and Cultural Center. As a culture keeper, I get to do great community art projects in collaboration with not only local artists but international artists as well. What is the African diaspora? The African diaspora refers to communities throughout the world that are descended from the historic movement of people in Africa. The term has historically applied to descendants of Africans who were enslaved and shipped to the Americas by way of the transatlantic slave trade, with the largest population in the U.S. and Brazil. This year, culture keepers and teachers at our school will team up with a high school in São Paulo, Brazil, and the Museo Afro Brazil to compare and contrast the impact of the African diaspora. At the end of our research, we will work on mural projects and exhibits in both countries. We will Skype to share and compare our research with other high school students from Sao Paulo, Brazil. We will go on field trips to African American historical sites throughout Prince George's County. And we will work with our teachers, local historians, and the Prince George's African Museum to conduct this research, produce murals and exhibits, and in the spring, travel to Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'm really excited about this program, and I'm very excited about meeting people in Sao Paulo, Brazil. 